Hey everyone, it's Ashlina. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so happy Aurora Tuesdays. We are doing a song called Midas Touch. It is from the TV show Hannah, I believe. I'm going to look into it, so give me a second. So it was on season three of Hannah, which is pretty cool. I only saw the movie. I've never seen this series, but the movie was sick. Like that movie was crazy. So it would probably be a series that I'd be interested in watching, but I'm not a big TV movie person. I'll just be completely honest. I would rather lay in bed or sit on my couch with headphones on and listen to music than watch a movie. And now listen, I will say this. My husband and I tend to find a show that we can watch together, but it takes us like a month to watch a TV show because just life happens. And once we finally get a moment to sit on the couch when our child goes to bed. It's like we can watch one episode and then I have to go to sleep. <laughs> so I value my sleep. I value my music listening time. I value my YouTube stuff and I value my actual job and I value my family. So TV and movies are way, way later than that. So sorry if I haven't seen the show. You guys can tell me if it's good or not. But Regardless, we're going to listen to the song Aurora did for it because we all know it's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to pull up the lyrics and uh, we'll check this out. So after this video, we have um, Into the Unknown and then finally Hunting Shadows. And then there will be another poll you guys can go and vote on. Um, I have promised the commenters in all of Patreon, YouTube, Instagram, wherever you guys are bothering me <laughs> and Discord uh, that I will do Aurora's version of the song because apparently um, Adina Menzel sings most of the song and it's just Aurora kind of floating in the back. That's what I've been told. So I will do the original song. I will do the live performance from the 92 Oscars, 92nd Oscars, whatever. And I will throw in a third performance of just Aurora doing this song all in one video. So you guys can expect that to come up next. Okay, let's check this out. I'm excited. Why, but the last little little 
doom, 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 doom part. Just, I don't know why it gave me like Kill Bill vibes. So I'm just going to go listen to it for a second and see what is possessing my mind to go that way. Yeah, that doom, 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 doom. It's giving me something in Kill Bill. Now I need to go to Spotify and listen to the soundtrack of Kill Bill. Because something is... The alarm bells are going off. I love that when you search Kill Bill now, like SZA comes up. Like that makes my heart so happy because that song is gangster. Am I thinking of Bang Bang? I think it's giving me Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Down vibes. Let me just... It's just faster. I don't know. Let me just double check. You guys know how I'm just crazy and need to check all these things out. I'm sorry, but the... <laughs> I can't with that song. It's my favorite. What an epic soundtrack. This is going to drive me nuts. Okay, now I need to listen to Aurora again. driving me nuts okay I can't really figure it out but I don't know why it just threw the movie Kill Bill in my head but yeah um if this song reminds me of another song please let me know because I feel like I'll figure it out eventually but right now my brain is just not working but yeah I really enjoyed the song it's very beautiful I loved the beat the beat is sick I, the thing that I love most about Aurora is the amount of bass she uses in her songs now I don't know if you guys have great sound systems but if you're only listening to Aurora on like a basic speaker and you end up in someone's car who has like crazy bass, like my husband or myself, it's a different experience, man. I'm telling you, the bass just rattles and it's just a beautiful thing. I'm okay. I thought this song was called Midas Touch, but it's Midas, Midas Touch. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, she says, yeah, she says Midas, my dear. So I'm guessing it's called Midas Touch, which is funny because I just instantly assumed Midas Touch, like the Midas Touch. I don't know. But yeah, I really liked the lyrics. Do you remember how I loved you? You would make your lovers into sculptures. You didn't know that I was lonely and the gift you brought me could not suit me. Um, no wonder why you're scared you're a king among thieves. Yeah, it's cute. It's a cute song. Probably not my favorite Aurora song, but like I'm not mad about this at all. I think it's lovely. I love the when you're away, I think that I'll escape. You're a king, but you're a slave. This love will end today. Woo! That's the best part of the song. I wonder if I can find any information about this song whatsoever. Here we go. The Midas Touch is a mythological illusion about an ancient Greek king, Midas's ability of turning things he touched into gold. In the song, Aurora uses this metaphor to indicate an unhealthy relationship a couple of lovers may have. Uh, Midas or Midas uh, thought he glorified his lover by his status, but he never got a glimpse of her lonely heart. Oh, um, and Aurora said, it's about a sad, sad man who was a horrible, horrible lover. I feel like some of the story takes place in a house like this, beautiful, but lonely and a little blurred it made for a show called hannah a very exciting story about a marvelous machine of a young woman and i am so happy that it is out for you to listen to with your ears beautiful honestly i love it it's a great song so we're just going to get into what we're doing today and why we're doing it today so if you guys are not a part of my patreon don't worry it's free to join go join my patreon because every month basically i'm doing a poll on what i will do for aurora tuesdays on my channel I am never going to get sick of Aurora Tuesdays. I feel like there's so much content out there of Aurora. Like, I'm so excited. I am, like, beyond excited. And for all of you who have found Aurora through me and are now a fan, like, that makes my heart so happy. You have no idea. 
let's talk about my vinyl of the day because it is Ray's, my 21st century blues, but it's the symphony version. I have yet to listen to it. I have yet to open it. I have yet to react to the full performance, which I promised myself I was going to do this week, even though I cannot upload it to YouTube because it will get blocked. But at least when I can upload it to YouTube, it's it's like, boom, done, ready. You know what I mean? Like, I'll be the first to get it live. <laughs> so I'm going to do that this week so I can open this final and I can spin it on my record player. I'm so excited to listen to this and watch the show. But yeah, she just won six Brit Awards, the most ever won at a Brit Awards ceremony. She has made history and she won album of the year and art and best new artist. Like who wins as best new artist and then wins album of the year? I don't think that's happened before. If it has, then kudos to that person or band, but that's impressive. So I just reacted to Ray's performance on the Brit Awards along with all of her acceptance speeches. So go check that out. It is live and I'll see you guys in my next video. Go listen to Ray. You might like her. She's pop. She's R&B. She's a little bit of EDM dance music. She's got some soul, some jazz. Like, you can't go wrong. And her voice is just stupid. Oh, my God. Ray. I love her. I'll see you guys in my next video. And I'll see you next Tuesday. The Meatus Touch, or Midas Touch, is a mythological, is a mythological. <laughs> the Meatus Touch is a, or the Midas Touch, is a myth. The meatest touch or the Midas touch is a mythological. I can't say this word mythological, mythological. The Midas touch is all of you in the comments on Patreon, on Instagram, on YouTube that I. <laughs>